Texas, though, comes away with a two-on-one. Right circle, Rallo tried to center, laying out the defenseman, broke it up, and it was well done by Steve McCarthy. Monsters assistant coach Steve McCarthy has seen a lot of things in a 15-plus year professional playing career, but this year he's seeing them from a different perspective. And now... What a way to cap a career after 16 seasons of pro hockey for Steve McCarthy. After helping the Monsters claim the Calder Cup as a defenseman last season, McCarthy made the transition behind the bench this year as an assistant coach. It's the first coaching position he's held at any level, and to hear him tell it, he feels fortunate to be able to learn the ropes in such a familiar setting. I knew last season was going to be my last season playing. Um, I had approached uh, uh, Billy Zito during the year. Um, obviously he knew that I was going to retire and, I, and basically I expressed to him that I would love to stay within the organization, work with the young kids, uh, especially the group that we have. A 35-year-old native of Trail, British Columbia, McCarthy was selected in the first round of the 1999 NHL draft and logged over 300 career NHL games for Chicago, Vancouver, and Atlanta, spanning parts of eight seasons, along with seven-plus years in the AHL and a championship turn overseas in the top Swiss league. But despite all that experience, Monsters head coach John Madden, himself going through a transition, in his first head coaching job, says it's been a pleasure to watch McCarthy grow into the role. I have a lot of similarities with, to what Max going through, so I can relate to a lot of things. But uh, it's fun to watch him uh, work out there, and you know, to see the to see hockey from the coach's standpoint, and, and uh, you know, it's fun. He, he's good at what he does. He's, he's great with the players. So he knows the game really well. Um, I love watching him work the computer. Uh, that's always fun. And uh, he's gotten a real good handle on that now. So, uh, you know, he's well on his way. He's only 10 games in or 11 games in now. So it's, uh, he's great to be around, and the guys love having him around. Cleveland's lone returner on the coaching staff from the Monsters Championship group is assistant coach Toby Peterson, who says Mac the colleague is a lot like Mac the player. A ton of character, a lot of defensive knowledge. He's seen it all. He's played for a long time. And uh, having just retired, you know, the game's changing every year. It's getting quicker and quicker, faster and faster. So he's, uh, you know, he can talk to the young defensemen about uh, some of the adjustments they can make because he's been there. He's done it. He's done it recently. And he's also played in the old style with the old clutching and grabbing and things like that. So he, he, he brings a lot to the table in that regard. What's it like when an off season turns your teammates into your students? McCarthy says his new role hasn't come without its interpersonal challenges. Well, the first couple of weeks, it's, it's a little awkward, especially when you have to uh, you know, tell somebody they're, they're not doing something right. But uh, as a, a couple of months has gone on, I felt a lot better. Uh, but I think the biggest thing is the, the guys in the room have been, have been great. Uh, obviously, there's respect both ways, which, which is huge. Um, and like I said earlier, we have a, a young coaching staff and it's, 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 it's fun to be part of. I enjoy coming to the rink every day. Just 11 short games into the next phase of his hockey life, McCarthy says he learns something new every day. And if nothing else, his new role has opened his eyes as to what so many coaches have sacrificed for him and his teammates over the years in preparing players to succeed on the ice night in and night out. The hours. Uh, the, the work never ends. Um, obviously, like I said last year, I, was, I knew I was going to retire, so I talked to some, some friends that were coaches. Um, you know, and you pick their brain of, of what it's like and, and the work and the video and, and meeting with players. Um, so it's something I expected, but you don't really know until you, you're, in, you're involved. Um, but that's basically the, you know, the biggest thing is the hours and the, and the work um, that you put into it. And as a coach now, I always I appreciate of what, of the, the work the coaches put in that I've played for.